red or green, hands down, I'm all about the green. So guys, thank you so much. What are we making today? Green chili sauce. Yum, all right, yeah. never made it. All right, it's nice and easy. I'll be the judge of that. You know I'm all about the easy recipes. Here's what you need. Add, a little bit Add of about two oil. tablespoons of olive oil to your pan on the stovetop. One cup of chopped green chili. For this recipe, Angel prefers green chili with medium heat. One cup of onion. Cook the onion until it goes clear. One teaspoon of cumin. Angel likes to add it early to brown and bring out that smoky flavor. One teaspoon of onion powder, garlic, and one can of diced tomatoes. Let that cook down. Angel says you want to heat your green chili to at least 150 degrees to make sure it's safe to eat. Her tip, even if you buy a bag of green chili, be sure and boil it or microwave it to avoid any bacteria. That is the whole thing. Yep. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just take it nice and easy with the pouring. Now we add one can of diced tomatoes, and now I'm trying best not to spill any or cause any fires. Now it's starting to look like green chili sauce. Now we bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, there are a couple of options when it comes to thickeners. Cornstarch is typically what people use. Um, if you are gluten intolerant or you have any kind of celiac issues, you cannot use cornstarch. It will affect you in horrible ways. So we use anthem gum, okay. um, which is kind of pricey, but for our vegan um, customers, it, it really is, um, you know, it really allows them to eat and, and not have stomach issues afterwards. We're using cornstarch. Add a little water to make it into a paste, then add to the stovetop. Now boil for 30 minutes uncovered, and then the options are endless. All right, so after you boil for 30 minutes, you can go ahead and transfer it into another container, or you can make enchiladas, or you can add meat to it. It makes a nice base for stew. Green chili is my favorite, and her green chili ideas were making me hungry. Oh my gosh. Pretty good, huh? Eat that with a spoon all day. Oh my gosh. You can eat it all day too. Just go to KOB.com for the full recipe and see where their food truck stuffed less will be next. Check it out on their Facebook and Instagram. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.